Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Conversation. The topic is the greatest secret the Black Mamba Kobe Bryant gave to Kawhi Leonard. So before I get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Remember, guys, we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. And also make sure you hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content so you don't miss anything. And also, these conversation videos are also going to be on the Dreamers Pro podcast, which is on Spotify. So we have the link in the description below so you you guys can make sure you go ahead and check that out. All of you guys know that Kobe Bryant has always been my favorite basketball player of all time. And I've always looked at Michael Jordan and said, okay, MJ is the greatest statistically. You're going to watch some of his highlights and all of this. But it wasn't up until the Last Dance documentary that I ended up seeing Michael Jordan in his full glory. So for me, being able to see Michael Jordan's games in context really crystallized the fact that he is the greatest player of all time. That being said though, Kobe Bryant to me certainly was the best player I've ever seen play basketball live. Now Kobe, as you all know, was a five-time NBA champion, two times finals MVP. He won the regular season MVP award in 2008. He was a four-time All-Star Game MVP. He was on 15 All-NBA teams. He was on nine All-First defensive teams, three second defensive teams. So Kobe was on 12 defensive teams for more than 50% of his career. He was one of the top defenders in the NBA. And if you, you know, discount the fact that he got injured towards the latter stages of his career, Kobe Bryant, if you look at his career in context, was certainly one of the top five greatest players of all time, at least in my opinion. He led the league in scoring two times in 2006 and 2007. At a time, he averaged 35.5 points a game at a time where the NBA just didn't have as many possessions that they have now, uh, today, where you see a lot of players with inflated numbers. I believe if you had a prime Kobe playing in today's NBA, he would put up numbers that we had never seen before. And certainly he would, he is, in my opinion, the greatest scorer of all time because he is the greatest mid-range player basketball has ever seen, and he could score in a myriad of ways. It was, Kobe Bryant had every shot in the book, plus some. He had the best footwork I've ever seen right up there with Michael Jordan. He had no weaknesses in his game. When he was playing basketball, he was also the best post player in basketball. Yes, I can say that. He was better than Tim Duncan, all of them. And it may sound controversial, but go back and look at Kobe Bryant playing the post. Remember, Kobe was the player that went to Hakeem Olajuwon, who was probably the best post player to ever play basketball. And he went to him to teach him his post moves. And it's one thing for a player to go to Hakeem because players like LeBron went, players like Amari Stoudemire went, players like Dwight Howard went, players like LeBron James went, but none of them were able to really capture the things that Hakeem was teaching them as well as Kobe Bryant did. And if you watch post, uh, Kobe Bryant's post game, it was absolutely amazing. So for me, all of these reasons, why Kobe Bryant was the greatest player I ever saw, and he was also one of the top five scorers in the history of the NBA. If you look at his career um, from a macro standpoint, Kobe Bryant averaged 25 points a game, 5.2 rebounds, and 4.7 assists. Now, if we look at him with the player I'm gonna sort of compare him to slightly, and Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi Leonard is a two-time NBA champion, a two-times finals MVP. He's been a four-time uh, all-star. He recently won the All-Star Game MVP, which is in fact the Kobe Bryant Award, which I thought was apt for him to win that award on the passing of on the heels of the passing of um, Kobe Bryant. He's been on two All-First NBA teams, second NBA team, so he's been on three All NBA teams. He's been on five All um, Defensive teams, three All First and two All Second. He's been a two-time Defensive Player of the Year. And he's led the NBA in steals in 2015 and in, in, uh, in the 2017, or no, excuse me, 2018, 2019 season, he had the third highest scoring output in the history of the playoffs, averaging over 30.5 points a game throughout the entire playoffs. If we look at Kawhi Leonard's numbers this season, he's averaging 27.1 points a game, 7.1 rebounds, and 4.9 assists. Now, Looking at the argument that I'm trying to make where I'm saying that Kobe Bryant gave his greatest gift to Kawhi Leonard, we have to go, we have to look at the history of these two players. Kawhi Leonard, when he was playing with the San Antonio Spurs during an all-star weekend, Greg Popovich told then to Kobe Bryant, he said, hey, Kobe, I'd like for you to stay in the air of Kawhi Leonard and just take him under your wings and work with him. 
and what ended up happening. Now, few people are aware of that, of that, of that fact, but I'm aware of that. So Kawhi Leonard ended up starting to train with Kobe Bryant. And what happened? The following season, when Kawhi Leonard came back in the 2016-2017 season, we noticed a complete difference in his game. The, prior, the year before he was averaging 21.2 points, he immediately jumped to 25.5 points uh, in scoring. And a lot of us were wondering what happened to Kawhi Leonard. And I remember one game when the San Antonio Spurs were playing against the Sacramento Kings and DeMar DeRozan, I mean, excuse me, not DeMar DeRozan, DeMarcus Cousins was playing for the Sacramento King when he was healthy. He said at the end of the game, because Kawhi Leonard put on a clinic and you guys can go and look at the highlights from that game. He said, I heard Kobe Bryant. He worked with Kobe over the off season. He said, this guy is really, really good, man. And essentially what happened was Kobe taught Kawhi how to be a prolific offensive player, but from a fundamental standpoint. If you look at the game of Kobe Bryant, who I believe was better than Kawhi Leonard. If you look at the game of Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi plays virtually the same as Kobe Bryant. He has the same playing style. Now he's not as fluid as Kobe. He, his game is not as pretty as Kobe Bryant but he essentially plays the exact same way. He takes a lot of his shots coming from the same spots on the floor. And if if you listen to Kobe Bryant, which I'm gonna give you, which I want you guys to take a listen to the sound bite, of when they asked Kobe Bryant on ESPN First Take, when he said, you know, who are the players, his favorite players to watch, you'll hear that he, him talk about Kawhi Leonard. So before I go too far, I want you guys to take a listen to that soundbite. <laughs> That's yeah. right. It's over. So I'm just, so. A, I'm just asking you, who's that guy that reminds you of you, or who's your favorite player right now? I, I mean, there, there's, there's three that I really enjoy watching. Um, you know, Russell, James, Kawhi Leonard. I love watching that generation. Kyrie. Um, I love watching them play. I just love watching them play. And, and Kawhi's been able to do, and you know, with the spots that he operates from. Uh, are the exact, exact same spots where I like to operate from. You know, the elbow, the mid post, you know, the one, two bump, turn left shoulder, fade, turn right shoulder, fade. I mean, I, I love watching those guys play. Now there you will hear Kobe Bryant describing the reason why he likes Kawhi because Kawhi Leonard plays exactly like him. But there's no, it's, there's no, that's not a mystery because Kobe, Kobe knows exactly why he said that because he's the one that taught him his playing style. However, the greatest gift that Kobe Bryant imparted to Kawhi Leonard was, was his work ethic. And this was crystallized in a recent game between um, the Clippers and the Denver Nuggets when Patrick Beverly spoke about the fact how during the lockdown, you know, in the middle of this global pandemic, he said he would train with Kawhi Leonard. And what he said was astonishing. He said, I always looked at myself as a hard worker, but when I went and started working out with Kawhi Leonard, I had no idea that this guy was such a maniacal, hard working basketball player. He said he had not seen anyone work as hard as Kawhi Leonard. And for me, that was an eye opening statement because these are things you don't know much about. Remember, Kawhi Leonard is not on social media. He doesn't have a Facebook account. He doesn't have an Instagram account. So he doesn't post videos. You don't know anything about him, really. So for me to hear this, it gave me sort of a backstage view of what Kawhi Leonard's work ethic is like. And I think it all makes sense because Kobe was probably the hardest working basketball player that ever lived. Kobe Bryant had immense talent but he turned himself into one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Anyone that knows Kobe or knows about Kobe can tell you that story. He is what he has legendary, you know, workout stories. And he had an even thing when he had a, a thing where he would go blackout mode, which I'm not going to get into. So for me to hear that, I think the greatest gift that Kobe gave to Kawhi apart from teaching him how to play was his work ethic. And I think Kobe must have explained to him for you to get to where you want to be, you have to work harder than every single person and no one should be able to outwork you. And to me, I think that is the greatest gift that Kobe Bryant imparted to Kawhi Leonard 
which is his work ethic. So what I want to know from you guys is, do you agree with me that the work ethic that Kobe Bryant imparted to Kawhi Leonard was his greatest gift to Kawhi Leonard, or do you think it was something else? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day. Peace.